Hello everyone, welcome back to another lecture, lesson six. Do believe that this is the second last lecture of the unit, uh, so measurement is almost over. Um, let's hop right in. This one's about surface area and volume of spheres, um, like baseballs, as you can see. Uh, the surface area formula of sphere is given to you there. Um, but I'll add one as well. Uh, the surface area when you're, it might be known to you uh, as, um, as pi d squared, or d is the radius. Uh, so 4 pi r squared, or pi d squared, whatever works for you. So the first example given here, um, a di the diameter of a baseball is approximately 3 inches. Determine the surface area of the baseball to the nearest square inch. So because we're given diameter, let's use the diameter formula. Why not? Surface area is equal to pi times the diameter of 3 squared. 3 squared is 9, and then pi is right around 3. It's just over 3. So 9 times 3 is 27. I'd expect it to be just over 27, maybe like 29 or something like that. Uh, turns out, we punch that into our calculator. Surface area is equal to 28 inches squared easy. If you know the radius or the diameter of a sphere, you know what the surface area is. Um, doesn't get much easier than that one. The surface area of a soccer ball is 250 square inches. What is the diameter of the soccer ball to the nearest tenth of an inch? So um, this time we're given the surface area being 250 inches squared. And we want to know what the radius is. So let's use the other formula. Let's use surface area is equal to 4 pi r squared to find out what the radius would be. We're going to isolate for r. We're going to get it all by itself. So we're going to divide both sides by 4 pi. And then we're going to square root. So surface area divided by 4 pi. We bring it to the bottom across the uh, equal sign square rooted to get rid of the uh, square sign on the r is equal to the radius. We can then punch that in. 250 divided by 4 pi. It's actually just a number. Divided uh, all square rooted. So the radius um, is equal to, oh it's actually asking us for the diameter. Well we'll find the radius and then and then we'll, uh, we'll double it to find the diameter. Um, it would be 4.45 inches, and if we multiply that by 2 to get the diameter, um, it's 8.9 inches. My apologies uh, about finding the wrong thing, but we found them both anyway. No problem at all. Uh, the next one is a try it on your own, so I'd recommend pausing the video and giving it a try. It's on your screen, it's also in your booklet. Um, and then when you're done, unpause, and we'll be able to go over it together. All right, everyone, uh, we're back. Um, this is a question uh, about the surface area of a medicine ball. It is approximately 16.9 square feet at surface area. What is the radius? Okay, so this time we're finding the radius. Surface area is equal to 4 pi r squared. We know that from the formula. We're given the surface area. 4 and pi are just numbers, so we can find out what r is. Um, we can rearrange the same way as last time. Surface area divided by 4 pi, all square rooted, gets us r. So go back to the last question. Uh, you're unsure of how to rearrange that. Uh, essentially dividing by 4 pi on each side and then square rooting. Um, to plug in those numbers, 19.6 for a surface area and 4 pi on the bottom, all square rooted, gives us a value of 1.25 feet for a radius. Now 1.25 feet is not what we want. We want it in feet and inches. So we are going to take the fraction or the decimal part of the foot and turn that into inches. So we know it's going to be one foot, but how many inches? 0.25 feet. I'm going to convert that into inches. Feet on the bottom, inches on the top, 12 inches in one foot, 
as we know. 0.25 times 12, so that's essentially like dividing it by four and giving us three inches. So therefore, that's what the three dots mean, it is one foot three inches. That is the radius of the medicine ball. Let's move on then to uh, volume problems. Um, if you have questions, definitely email me. Um, yeah, we'll move on to volume problems of spheres now. The volume of a sphere uh, formula is given, and it is only one formula. There is not two formulas for this one. Uh, it is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Um, we have to imagine. Uh, if you can, um, a whole bunch of tiny, tiny pyramids pointed in towards the center of a ball. So each of those added up together would give you um, the volume. Now, it's a really complicated um, way to think about it, but um, we'll, we'll just use the formula for now. So the first example tells us that the sun, a huge sphere, has a diameter of 870,000 miles. What is the approximate volume of the sun? So we have the diameter, but we need the radius. First thing to do is divide that by two. So 870,000 miles divided by two gets us 435,000 miles. Sounds good. Now, we are going to use that radius, and that is actually the only thing that we need to know to find the volume of a sphere, is just the radius. So we have that. Volume is equal to four over three times pi, um, multiplied by this number, 435,000 cubed. So you're gonna multiply that by itself three times, multiply by pi, multiply by four, and divide by three. That will get us a volume of 3.4 uh, times 10 to the 17. Now that's scientific notation. That means that there are 17 decimal places this way, and I just don't want to write it. Because otherwise, here, I'll write it and I'll show you what it would look like. It would look insane. So this is the same as writing. Um, let's start over here. I need to have the 4 and then 16 zeros. So 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 zeros is that many miles. So instead of writing all of that out, um, I can just represent it like this. So that means that there are 17 decimal places this way. So 16 zeros because we take the 4 into account as well. So you can see why it'd be easier to write that. But there is the volume. Um, yeah, the volume it should be in cubed miles cubed, the volume of the sun. Let's move on to the next um, problem. A half a grapefruit. I mean, this is known as a hemisphere. Uh, has a five centimeter radius. What is the surface area of the grapefruit to the nearest tenth uh, of a square centimeter? So. We are going to need to work out what the equation is, needs to be a little bit. So, um, we know that the surface area of a uh, whole sphere is uh, 4 pi r squared. Now, if we got a hemisphere, that's just half. So we just divide that by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, so that means that the volume of a hemisphere, um, sorry, the surface area, of a hemisphere, let's write that nicer. The surface area of a hemisphere is equal to two pi r squared. Uh, we then need also take into account the circle that is on top when you cut that grapefruit in half. And that circle, so the surface area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. So the whole thing, the surface area of the entire thing is going to be 2 pi r squared, that is the bottom portion of the grapefruit, the outside of it, the hemisphere, plus pi r squared, which is the top portion. 
And you can actually add these together. 2 pi r squared plus 1 pi r squared is 3 pi r squared. So the surface area of a hemisphere is total um, 3 pi r squared. So I can use that formula now to find out what the uh, surface area would be. And all I need to know is the radius, which I have. So the surface area total is equal to 3 times pi. The radius in the question is 5 centimeters, and it's going to be squared. 25 times 3 is 75 times approximately 3 is about 225. We'll go a little bit more than that because it's 3.14 for pi. So it's going to be approximately um, 250. Uh, let's see. 235 it is. So 235.6 centimeters cubed the surface area of our grapefruit. The next thing it wants to know uh, if we go down just a little bit here, what is the volume of the grapefruit to the nearest tenth of a cubic centimeter? Uh, so now we are going to find out the volume. Uh, volume is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed. And then the volume of half of a sphere is just going to be divide the whole thing by 2. Um, when you're dividing this whole thing by 2, again, you're getting rid of the 4. So the actual volume of that hemisphere, the volume of a hemisphere, is 2 pi r cubed divided by 3. Again, all you need to know is the radius, which we do. It's 5, so we can do that. The volume of the hemisphere is 2 times pi times 5 cubed, all divided by 3, which is 261.8 centimeters cubed. Boom. We did it. Uh, feel free to pause and go back throughout these videos to listen again, to ask any questions that you may have. You can send me an email uh, or we can um, you know, talk about it in some other way. But definitely um, do the practice problems and I'll see you for the final lesson uh, in the next one. Okay, bye.